Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to remove rows with NA values using the DeepLayer package. In the video I'm going to show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with the lines 2 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object appears which is called data. And we can print this data frame to the RStudio console by running line 5 of the code. And then you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that we have created a data frame with six rows and three columns, x1, x2, and x3. And some of our data cells are NA or are not available. So if we want to remove the rows with at least one NA value, then we can use the DeepLayer package of the R programming language. And in order to use the functions of the DeepLayer package, we first need to install and load the DeepLayer package, as you can see in lines 7 and 8 of the code. I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it with line 8 of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the DeepLayer package. So in line 10 and 11 of the code, I'm using the pipe operator that is provided by the tidyverse. And I'm using the na omit function to remove na values. So if you run lines 10 and 11 of the code, you can see that another data frame is created at the bottom in the RStudio console. And as you can see, this data frame consists of only four rows because the rows number two and three have been removed due to NA values. So in my opinion, this is the simplest method to remove NA values in a data frame in the R programming language. However, there are also other alternatives available and in the following examples I want to show you different alternatives on how to remove rows with an A values using functions of the DeepLayer package. So in lines 13 and 14 of the code, I am again using the pipe operator and then I'm using the filter function in combination with the complete cases function. So if you run lines 13 and 14 of the code, you can see that exactly the same data frame is returned in the RStudio console. However, in this example, we have used the filter and complete cases functions instead of the NA omit function as shown in the previous example. So another alternative that I want to show you in the last example of this tutorial is shown in lines 16 and 17 of the code. And in these lines of code, I'm again using the filter function. However, this time I'm combining the filter function with the isNA function. So if you run lines 16 and 17 of the code, another data frame is returned at the bottom in the RStudio console. However, you can see this time this data frame output is different compared to the previous examples. Because in this case, we have only removed rows where the column x1 has an NA value. So for that reason, the second row where the column x2 has an NA value was not removed. And for that reason, the resulting data frame has five rows instead of four rows, as you have seen in the previous examples. So in this video, I have shown you three examples on how to remove rows with NA values using the DeepLayer package. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail, and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments, and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.